In the mid-1960s, producers Leonard Freeman and Aaron Spelling set out to create a thrilling new TV series called The Rat Patrol. This classic followed the dangerous missions of four Allied soldiers during World War II, driving dune buggies behind enemy lines. Let's delve into the intriguing casting process that brought these memorable characters to life. Casting Chris Sanford as Troy Slade, the leader of the group, proved to be an inspired choice. Producers were looking for a young actor who could exude charisma and confidence on screen. After several rounds of auditions, they found their man in Sanford, whose previous acting experience made him perfect for the part. His ability to connect with both his fellow cast members and the audience ultimately sealed the deal. Selecting Gary Raymond as Sergeant Sam Troy required careful consideration. They wanted someone who could portray authority, yet still maintain camaraderie with the rest of the team. During the audition process, Raymond demonstrated strong leadership skills while also showing vulnerability, an essential aspect needed for developing the character further. He excelled in chemistry tests alongside other actors, ensuring he would make an excellent addition to the ensemble. Securing Justin Tarr as Moffer Sutton took some time, but paid off handsomely. Initially overlooked due to limited acting credits, Tarr impressed everyone when offered another chance to read for the role. With sheer determination and raw talent, he managed to secure the part by displaying impeccable comedic timing and authenticity. These qualities allowed Sutton to become one of the most beloved characters in the series. When it came to filling the shoes of Hitchcock, played by Christopher Carlos, things moved rather quickly. Upon meeting Carlos, producers immediately recognized his undeniable charm and versatility. Although initially hesitant because of Carlos' lack of military background, they soon realized that his natural instincts far surpassed expectations. Thus, Carlos became an indispensable member of the Rat Patrol team. Assembling the cast for the Rat Patrol involved meticulous attention to detail, patience, and keen intuition. Each actor brought something unique to their respective roles, forming a harmonious blend of talents that captivated viewers worldwide. Together, they formed a formidable force committed to fighting tyranny and making the world a safer place. I haven't got any. Be quiet. I think you need a little vacation, Dr. President, and I prison come. The Rat Patrol, a 1966 TV series, was brought to life through the directorial vision of Paul Wenkos. Known for his work in action and adventure, Wenkos approached this show with a dynamic and fast-paced style. He emphasized the importance of capturing the thrilling desert chases and hand-to-hand -hand combat scenes that the series is famous for. Wenkos drew inspiration from classic war films and the serials of the 1940s. He sought to create a show that paid homage to these early influences while still feeling fresh and modern. This is evident in the series' high-energy action sequences and the distinctive, stylized look of its desert settings. Collaboration was key to Wenkos' approach. He worked closely with the cast and crew to ensure that everyone was on the same page and working towards the same goal. Wenkos believed in fostering a positive and supportive working environment where actors and crew members felt free to share their ideas and contribute to the creative process. One notable example of this collaborative spirit can be seen in Wenkos' relationship with the show's stunt team. Together, they developed a unique visual language for the series' action scenes, one that emphasized realism and physicality over flashy special effects. This helped to give the show its distinctive, gritty feel and set it apart from other action series of the time. In addition to his work on The Rat Patrol, Paul Wenkos directed a number of other classic television shows and films, including Hunter, Burke's Law, and Guns of the Magnificent Seven. His contributions to the world of television and film continue to be celebrated and studied by scholars and fans alike. You kill me. You're gonna have to carry me out of this desert on your back. The Rat Patrol, a 1966 TV series, follows the adventures of four Allied soldiers behind enemy lines during World War II. This classic has stood the test of time, remaining a beloved symbol of the television industry. You might wonder what gives it such enduring appeal. Well, stay tuned, because there are many surprising, humorous, and emotional facts ahead that will help explain its ongoing popularity. As viewers, certain scenes or moments can leave indelible imprints on our minds. For instance, do you remember a specific episode or event from the Rat Patrol that still resonates with you today? We'd love to hear about it in the comments below. Now, let's take a trip down memory lane together. Tell us about your favorite memory or personal experience tied to this iconic show. Whether it was an exciting chase scene, camaraderie between the characters, or even just sharing laughs with family while watching reruns, 
We welcome all your stories. Please excuse me, business. Shouldn't take more than a minute. In the late 1960s, the production of CTV series The Rat Patrol brought excitement and innovation to the small screen. The desert landscapes of Southern California served as the perfect backdrop for this action-packed show, which followed a group of Allied soldiers behind enemy lines in North Africa during World War II. To create the rugged terrain needed for the storylines, the production team transformed barren deserts into battlefields, complete with military vehicles, sand dunes, and makeshift bases. They built intricate sets, including a German command post and a hidden American outpost, designed to look authentic and historically accurate. Attention was paid even to the smallest details, such as uniform insignia and weapon types, ensuring viewers were fully immersed in each episode's narrative. One notable challenge faced by the crew involved filming in extreme temperatures, sometimes exceeding 110 degrees Fahrenheit. To combat these harsh conditions, they implemented several innovations. For instance, they utilized large water trucks to keep both the cast and equipment cool between takes. Additionally, they developed special cooling systems for the cameras and other gear to prevent overheating. Another groundbreaking aspect of the Rat Patrol was its high-speed chase scenes, often featuring jeeps racing through treacherous terrains. These thrilling sequences required precise coordination between stunt drivers, cameramen, and actors. At the time, the production used state-of-the-art camera technology mounted on custom rigs installed in the jeeps themselves, allowing for smooth and stable footage during these fast-paced moments. This technique became an industry standard in years to come. Despite the numerous logistical hurdles, the team behind the Rat Patrol consistently delivered compelling stories and stunning visuals throughout its two-season run. Today, this classic television series remains a testament to their hard work and ingenuity. I haven't got it. Be quiet. If you need a little vacation, don't. The Rat Patrol, a classic television series, first aired in 1966 and quickly gained popularity due to its thrilling action and unique premise. Set during World War II, the show follows a group of Allied soldiers known as the Rat Patrol as they carry out dangerous missions behind enemy lines. The series is known for its fast-paced action, intense chase scenes, and realistic portrayal of war. The main cast of the Rat Patrol includes Christopher George as Sergeant Sam Troy, Gary Raymond as PVT, Jack Moffat, Eric Braden as PVT, Hans Dietrich, and Justin Tarr as PVT, Mark Tagger. These actors bring their characters to life in a believable and engaging way making viewers feel as if they are truly a part of the action. The show's production values were also top-notch for its time, with impressive stunts and special effects that added to the overall excitement. The use of real military vehicles and authentic World War II settings added to the show's realism and helped to immerse viewers in the story. The Rat Patrol also stood out for its focus on character development and relationships. The main characters are not just one-dimensional soldiers, but rather well-rounded individuals with their own strengths, weaknesses, and personalities. The relationships between the characters are also explored in depth, adding an emotional layer to the action-packed storyline. The show's themes of camaraderie, bravery, and sacrifice are still relevant today, and make The Rat Patrol a timeless classic. The series remains a favorite among older adults who grew up watching it, and continues to attract new fans through its availability on streaming services. In conclusion, The Rat Patrol is a classic television series that offers a thrilling and engaging viewing experience. Its impressive production values, well-developed characters, and timeless themes make it a must-watch for fans of action and war movies. Whether you're a longtime fan or new to the show, The Rat Patrol is sure to leave a lasting impression. Jim Favors the Brave. 102. In the creation of the Rat Patrol's musical score, Dominic Frontier played a pivotal role. As the series' music composer, he skillfully crafted themes that heightened the tension and excitement of each episode. Drawing inspiration from the desert landscapes and military action depicted in the show, Frontier composed music that underscored the drama and intensity of this classic television series. Frontier aimed to capture the raw emotion of the soldiers' experiences through his compositions. He drew upon Middle Eastern motifs and instruments, blending them seamlessly with traditional orchestral arrangements. This fusion resulted in a unique sound that perfectly captured the essence of the Rat Patrol's gritty combat sequences and character interactions. 
When creating the score, Frontier focused on capturing the unyielding spirit of the Allied forces portrayed in the series. Each piece of music was carefully tailored to reflect both the narrative arc and the emotional state of the characters. For instance, during high-stakes chase scenes, the music would swell, punctuating the urgency and danger faced by the protagonists. Conversely, during moments of camaraderie between the main cast members, the score softened, giving way to more introspective melodies. Collaboration between Frontier and the musicians involved in recording the score proved crucial to its success. Many sessions were spent refining individual pieces, ensuring they aligned flawlessly with the visual elements of the show. Through their collective efforts, the team succeeded in producing a memorable and evocative soundtrack that remains synonymous with the Rat Patrol. One notable aspect of the score is its ability to transport viewers directly into the heart of the action. By combining fast-paced percussion rhythms with soaring strings and haunting wind instrument tones, Frontier successfully created an auditory experience that mirrored the adrenaline-fueled nature of the series. Ultimately, Frontier's contributions to the Rat Patrol's musical landscape have left an indelible mark on the viewing public. To this day, listeners continue to appreciate the masterful composition and performance found within this iconic television series soundtrack. Bad shot, he should have killed me. Yeah, maybe he will next time. Now listen to me for the last... In the Rat Patrol TV series, Richard Mulligan played a significant role before gaining fame on Soap, An Empty Nest. Afterward, he became a household name, appearing in various shows like The Golden Girls and Nurses. And well, water, do you know what that would mean to us? In the second episode of this classic, The Desperate Drive, the Rat Patrol engages in a thrilling chase scene that remains iconic. Director Robert Sparr skillfully uses a low-angle shot to capture a German half-track speeding toward the camera, creating a sense of urgency. Actor Christopher George, as Sergeant Moody, masterfully conveys fear and determination as he tries to disable the vehicle. The cinematography stands out with the use of a handheld camera to capture the chaos and motion of the chase. This scene leaves audiences on the edge of their seats, still talked about today. In the episode The Hostage Ploy, the Rat Patrol faces a moral dilemma when they capture a German officer. Actor Eric Braden, as Lieutenant Dietrich, delivers a powerful performance, showing vulnerability and humanity beneath his tough exterior. The show's writers took a risk by humanizing the enemy, making for a memorable and thought-provoking episode. The scene where Dietrich and Troy share a tense conversation in the back of a truck is particularly impactful, highlighting the futility of war and the common humanity of both sides. The episode The Prisoner of Mornay features an intense escape scene, with the Rat Patrol trying to free a captured French resistance fighter. The use of shadows and darkness in the cinematography adds to the tension, while the performances of the actors convey the urgency and danger of the situation. The scene where the team fights off German soldiers in a narrow alleyway is particularly well directed, with quick cuts and close-ups adding to the chaos and excitement. This scene remains a fan favorite, showcasing the show's unique blend of action and drama. Well, about that. In the 1966 TV series The Rat Patrol, Fabian, known for touring with Frankie Avalon and Bobby Rydell, made an appearance. Fabian and Avalon were discovered by Robert P. Marcucci, the owner of Chancellor Records, which formed the basis for the 1980 film The Idolmaker. Martin Milner, who played Officer Peter Malloy in The Rat Patrol, has also portrayed the same character in four other series Dragnet, Adam-12, The DA, and Emergency. Wolfgang Priest, who appeared in The Rat Patrol, shares the distinction of being one of only two actors to appear in both films based on Cornelius Ryan's books, The Longest Day, and A Bridge Too Far, along with Sean Cannery. In summary, the cast of The Rat Patrol included notable actors with diverse experiences, from playing the same character in multiple series to appearing in films based on historical books. Um, maybe they're stupid. Then they'll send the medal to your mother in Tennessee. Kentucky. <laughs> The Rat Patrol, a 1966 TV series, quickly gained popularity due to its high-stakes adventures set during World War II. Audiences were drawn into the thrilling tales of four Allied soldiers tasked with sabotaging German forces in North Africa. This classic captivated viewers through its fast-paced action, striking locations, and compelling character dynamics. Set against the backdrop of global conflict, the show touched on themes like camaraderie, perseverance, and heroism, 
while highlighting the harsh realities of war. These elements made it relatable to many people who sought escape and adventure amid turbulent times. Moreover, the Rat Patrol had an undeniable influence on popular culture. Its unique blend of military strategy, daring exploits, and desert landscapes paved the way for other successful wartime dramas. Furthermore, the distinctive style of its opening sequence, featuring an intense theme song and dynamic visuals, has been widely imitated across various media formats. Discussions surrounding relevant social issues also emerged from the program. For instance, some episodes tackle topics such as racial prejudice, prisoner treatment, and civilian casualties. While these subjects weren't always explored deeply, their inclusion demonstrated awareness of complex problems often present in warfare. Additionally, by focusing on a multinational team consisting of American, British, Australian, and New Zealand soldiers, the show promoted unity among allies. It subtly conveyed messages about trust, cooperation, and respect despite differing backgrounds and nationalities. Overall, the Rat Patrol left an indelible mark on television history. Decades later, both critics and fans continue praising its innovative storytelling approach and engaging content. Even now, we can see traces of this groundbreaking series influencing contemporary films and shows. Do we have any choice? Just so. During the production of The Rat Patrol, actor Mark Lawrence, who played villainous SF officer Dietrich, had an unusual friendship with infamous mob boss Lucky Luciano. Following Luciano's deportation to Italy after serving time for running a prostitution ring, Lawrence visited him and noticed how much Luciano missed New York and its residents. To bring a piece of home to Luciano, Lawrence adopted an exaggerated New York accent during their conversations whenever they met, something that brought comfort to the homesick mobster. Another cast member, Fabian, famous for playing Sergeant Moody in The Rat Patrol, pursued an active musical career years after the show ended. By 26, he performed regularly at the Dick Clark Theater in Branson, Missouri, and toured across the nation, showcasing his singing talents. Gavin McLeod, known for portraying Troy Brennan in The Rat Patrol, almost didn't land his iconic role as newsroom editor Murray Slaughter on The Mary Tyler Moore Show. Initially, he planned to audition for the character of Lou Grant, but changed his mind midway through, deciding to try out for Murray instead. His decision proved successful, leading to one of television's most memorable ensemble performances. This classic TV series offered opportunities for its talented actors to explore different facets of their abilities, and left lasting impressions on both audiences and industry professionals alike. I'm afraid this war is over for you. Congratulations. The Rat Patrol, a 1966 TV series, received mixed reviews from critics. Some praised its fast-paced action and thrilling stunts, while others criticized its historical inaccuracies and over-the-top violence. However, the show gained a loyal following among young audiences, who were drawn to its daring heroes and exciting desert battles. Critics, such as Jack Gould of the New York Times, noted the show's sheer physical daring and breathless pacing. Gould also commended the series for its authentic settings and convincing props. Similarly, Variety's review highlighted the show's authentic backgrounds and impressive stunts, which were performed by the actors themselves. Despite these positive reviews, The Rat Patrol also faced criticism for its violent content and historical inaccuracies. The New York Herald Tribune's John Horn wrote that the show was a little too violent for young audiences and that it takes too many liberties with history. The show's creators, he argued, had taken a few facts and turned them into a fantasy. Despite these criticisms, The Rat Patrol was nominated for several awards, including an Emmy for Outstanding Dramatic Series in 1967. The show's stars, Christopher George and Gary Raymond, were also nominated for Emmys for their performances. While the show did not win any major awards, these nominations were a testament to the talent and hard work of the cast and crew. The accolades received by The Rat Patrol were a source of pride for those involved in the show. For the actors, directors, and writers, the nominations and positive reviews were a validation of their efforts and a recognition of their contributions to the world of television. For fans of the show, the awards and nominations were a testament to the enduring appeal of this classic series, which continues to captivate audiences today. I wonder how much longer we've got. Only one hour, Sergeant. I can... In the 1966 TV series, The Rat Patrol, Eric Braden made an impact, even though he didn't play the lead. 
Braden, who was considered for the role of James Bond after Cubby Broccoli saw him in Colossus the Forbin Project, was ultimately passed over when Broccoli realized Braden was German, not British. William Schaller, who played a role in this classic, had a notable father figure in his career. Martin Lane, Schaller's character on The Patty Duke Show, was ranked number 39 in TV Guide's list of the 50 greatest TV dads of all time in the 20 June 2004 issue. Gavin McLeod, another actor who appeared in The Rat Patrol, had a connection with a fellow actor outside of the show. McLeod attended the funeral of Robert Urich in 2002, and later reprised his role alongside Urich on Love Boat The Next Wave in 1998. These actors' careers and contributions continue to resonate with audiences today. I disappear. I don't think your men want to get scattered across the desert. During the filming of this classic, The Rat Patrol, the desert heat posed many challenges. The cast and crew often had to endure temperatures over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Actor Christopher George, who played Sergeant Sam Troy, recounted a time when his canteen filled with water became so hot that it burned his hand. The stunts were another thrilling aspect of the production. The show featured high-speed chases, dangerous jumps, and intense combat scenes. Stuntman Ray Austin, who worked on the series, once shared an anecdote about a particularly daring stunt. While performing a motorcycle jump over a sand dune, Austin misjudged the distance and landed hard, injuring his shoulder. Despite the pain, he managed to finish the scene, showcasing the dedication and bravery of the cast and crew. The camaraderie among the cast was also noteworthy. The four main actors, George Gary Raymond, Eric Fleming, and Justin Tarr, formed a close bond during filming. They would often spend time together offset, further strengthening their on-screen chemistry. Lastly, the production faced various logistical challenges. Shooting in the desert required long drives to and from locations, and the vast open landscapes added complexity to the filming process. Nevertheless, the cast and crew remained committed resulting in a high-quality, action-packed show that still captivates audiences today. Thank you. In the late 1960s, actor Gavin McLeod found success in the intense war drama The Rat Patrol. Interestingly, all episode names feature the word raid. After his stint in this classic TV series, McLeod gained wider fame through another popular show, The Love Boat, which ultimately led to a lengthy endorsement deal with Princess Cruises. McLeod's career took off following the Rat Patrol. As Thela Boat's captain, he became synonymous with cruising, reflecting how television can significantly influence public perception. Meanwhile, every episode title in the Rat Patrol highlights daring military missions, further emphasizing its action-packed nature. While many remember Gavin McLeod for his later roles, it was shows like the Rat Patrol where he honed his skills. With each episode revolving around raids, fans were treated to relentless excitement and adventure. Following this show, McLeod capitalized on his newfound popularity by associating himself with leisurely vacations, quite a contrast to his time spent battling enemies in the desert during the Rat Patrol days. The Rat Patrol, a 1966 TV series, holds a significant place in film history. As a war drama, it brought a new level of intensity to the small screen, focusing on a group of Allied soldiers in North Africa during World War II. The show's gritty realism and fast-paced action were groundbreaking for its time, inspiring future filmmakers to push the boundaries of television storytelling. This classic series also introduced audiences to a fresh take on the military genre. Instead of focusing on the high command, it centered on the soldiers in the trenches, showcasing their bravery, camaraderie, and sacrifice. This approach would later be replicated in numerous films and TV shows, including popular series like Band of Brothers and The Pacific. Moreover, The Rat Patrol had a lasting impact on the film industry through its innovative visual style. The show's use of wide-angle shots, fast editing, and on-location filming created a sense of urgency and realism that was unprecedented for a TV series. This visual language would go on to influence many action films and TV shows in the following decades. The Rat Patrol also left a mark on popular culture, inspiring several subsequent works. For instance, the popular video game Medal of Honor features a mission based on the show, where players must infiltrate a German base in a jeep, just like the Rat Patrol did in the series. In conclusion, the Rat Patrol's legacy and influence are undeniable. 
Its innovative storytelling, visual style, and cultural impact continue to resonate in the film and television industry today. Well, if they hadn't have picked you up, well, they did you to heaven. But, you just succeeded. In the acting careers of John Anderson, William Schaller, and Mark Lawrence, each has had their fair share of memorable performances. For Anderson, his appearance in the Gunsmoke episode Buffalo Man stands out due to its impact on film students learning the art of editing. A fight scene between his character, Ben Sipple, and James Arnas and Marshall Matt Dillon gained legendary status amongst aspiring editors. Interestingly, Jack Klugman, who also starred in this episode, brought this fact to Anderson's attention years afterward. As for Schaller, despite his numerous roles in movies and television, he remains best recognized for playing Nels Barris, the Federation Undersecretary of Agricultural Affairs in Star Trek's episode The Trouble with Tribbles. His portrayal continues to resonate with sci-fi enthusiasts even today. Lastly, Mark Lawrence left an indelible mark in the James Bond franchise appearing in two installments, Diamonds Are Forever and The Man with the Golden Gun. He played characters dressed similarly across both films, leading some Bond fans to debate if they were meant to be the same person or distinct individuals. Regardless, these recurring roles further solidified Lawrence's place in cinema history. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like... Did you grow up watching The Rat Patrol like I did? This classic TV series still holds a special place in many hearts. If you have fond memories of this show, we'd love to hear from you. Perhaps the thrilling chase scenes left you breathless, or maybe the camaraderie between the characters resonated with you. Whatever it was, sharing your experience can help bring our community closer together. You might even inspire someone else to give this iconic series a try. So go ahead, take a trip down memory lane, and tell us all about your favorite moments from the Rat Patrol. Let's see who else shared similar reactions. And while you're here, don't forget to engage with other cinephiles by liking, sharing, and subscribing to our page. Together, let's celebrate the films that have shaped our lives. For so for people, Doctor. There are always plenty of people. Well, you're working on that, aren't you?